Good morning. Oh, I have good news for you. It is been two weeks of spending time in God's presence and listening to God's voice in various ways, denying ourselves the things that come most of the time uh, priority to us and can be idols or can be things that take our attention from God. This could be food, as we've seen the past week, social media and other kinds of media, things that really compete with God's attention uh, in our lives. This week is special because we are not only tuning into God's voice, but also tuning into God's community or God's people. Why is that important? Think of it this way. Jesus, when he is uh, trying to teach the people uh, his heart, he uses a parable of a man. And he, this man is walking from, uh, from Jerusalem, walking down to Jericho, and he falls in the hands of bad people, thieves, and they mug him and they beat him down and leave him injured. And then there's a bunch of people who come across him, people that we would expect that would be very gracious to people who are injured and they would care for him. Like when you think about the church, for example, you expect that the pastor and these other people are, would be very, very close to people and that they would want to help people. But in this time, the people who were supposed to do that did not naturally do that. I'm talking about the priest and the Levite. And we're told that the person who did stop was a person we did not expect to stop. He was a Samaritan. He would have said, this is none of my business and walked away. But the Samaritan stops and cares for this wounded and injured man to the extent that he puts a security or a down payment and says that he will pay everything that the person incurs until the person is well. This week, as we tune into community, I'd love for you to think of it this way. As I fast from food and other things, would you ask God, open my eyes that I may see my neighbor? I'm not just talking about the person who lives next door. I'm talking about the person who is calling for my attention. The person who is suffering injustice, suffering pain, suffering any kind of suffering that they're going through, and they're looking to me, and for some reason they think, I can help. It could be a child, it could be an orphan, it could be a widow. Wh whoever is around you who qualifies as somebody in need, God is calling you this week. As you fast, do not only think about them, but now to love them by stretching your hands out. You know, the gift God has given you, it could be substance that you give to them. It could be your time that you provide for them. But this is a perfect week to add to your fasting action by reaching to your community, serving your community, loving those who qualify to be called your neighbors. God bless you as you tune in to the community around you. Amen.